going on. So kind of like group around. Um, the um, Sochi will be helping to do the press conference. So from this point on, like this is the when the studying begins, and we kind of move into it. So I hope that's clear with everyone. Yes, let's go study. So everybody else, let's come inside. Money for jobs and education, not for a war or incarceration. Yeah, money for jobs and incarceration. Oh, I messed up. Money for jobs and education, not for a war or incarceration. I think some dedication is something you're going to do with your voice there. Yeah. Try to keep it down for the... You're doing good. Yeah, I've been yelling a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mine was well. Alright. <laughs> hey, excuse me, guys. Uh, there are three or four, five people, including me, who are writing lab tutors. So, if any of you have writing assignments, uh, we're, this is the writing lab for right now. Thank you. Uh, also, this is the one time that you will ever hear us say this, but we're willing to proof read. That's what we have. I'm on. Start doing my homework. Which are no more cuts. <laughs> to restore the cuts that have already been made, 
no furlough days, and no layoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So this action that we're taking today is part of a larger movement to retain our educational resources. It's building towards a statewide day of action on March 4th, when schools, K through 12, colleges, universities, and adult education will hold walkouts, rallies, marches, to demand an end to the educational cuts. Additionally, the March in March, which will take place in Sacramento on March 22nd, when we'll be taking this fight straight to our representatives' doors in Sacramento. This action is to create power and unity among our entire campus community. And you know, have you all ever heard the, the CCSF motto that you can get there from here? So we believe that the, the library and our education is our guiding compass. And without our compass, how can we find our future? Yeah. Education is a right. Education is a right. Wow, thank you. Uh, I didn't prepare anything, but our, I think our, all of our message is the same. You know, we've got the money to give the Bank of America. We've got the money to give the Goldman Sachs. We've got the money to give the GM. We've got the money to give the Halliburton. But when it comes to American people, all of a sudden, we don't got the money. Yeah. When it comes to funding our schools, all of a sudden, we don't got the money. That's right. That's right. So now's the time when we come together, stand together as one, and demand a change in values. But uh, not just a change in values, because that won't work for this system, but a revolution of values. That's the only way we're going to fix things. But uh, I think now's the time uh, for us to uh, come stand together and say uh, enough is enough. That the days of the misappropriation, the manipulation, the humiliation are over. Uh, I think there's been a new awakening in America, definitely in California. We see students organizing uh, all the way from Humboldt State all the way to the lowest community college down south. There's definitely been an awakening, and all of you are a part of it. Uh, our message today is simple. Uh, it, it's that when our schools are failing, that means America is failing. Bottom line. And then when you have, when America is failing, that means democracy is failing. And then when you have a democracy that's failing, that means you have a public, a community that's not being served. And we can't have that for our communities. Uh, I was asked to speak here tonight because I'm uh, a veteran who's been working, organizing on campus, a veteran of the Iraq War, who after coming home had uh, seen some discrepancies in uh, our society and seen some wasteful spending in government and see that a you know, college campus closes its doors basically at 6.45 p.m. And I, I think that is uh, wrong for a country that is, that is the wealthiest country in the world. And my, my position here, you know, as, as a veteran on campus, is I was, I was promised uh, the hopes of the GI Bill. And uh, it, it does uh, offer a lot of promise to veterans, no doubt. But when thousands of veterans are returning from military service, coming back to their schools, and all of a sudden the schools are being dismantled, that promise that was given to veterans isn't much of a promise anymore. When you have programs in UCs being cut, CSUs being cut, community colleges being cut, that promise that America gave us uh, veterans is all of a sudden being uh, uh, taken away. And uh, that's why I'm here, and that's why all of you are here, to ensure that uh, America keeps its promise, California keeps its promise. And we look at history of California. Uh, California did promise its students at one point affordable uh, education, but we don't see that anymore. Uh, what we see now is a, 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 break, a break in tax for the richest Americans. And 
what I like to uh, think of is an increase of tax. When you have a, when you go to a public inst institution and are charged a $10,000 fee, not tuition, but a $10,000 fee, I say that's a tax on education to keep uh, uh, certain people from achieving their goals in life. 